Question 3.3. Um, how many moles are there in 5.0 grams of glucose? Glucose has the molecular formula c 6 h 12 6 okay, oxygen. So how do we work that out? Well, to know that, we need to know the molar mass of glucose. Now, let's talk about this. I am trying to work out um, how many moles in 5.0 grams of C6H12O6, right? These are important. That's how many of those atoms there are in that molecule each. Now, if I go to Google, and I advise you do, from Google, the relative masses according to the periodic table in unified atomic mass units for each of these atoms are as follows. And actually, Google gives a quite, a, quite precise. They give it to six sig fig. And I'm going to put a U there. I'm going to come back to what the U actually is. Um, 1.0078 units and O. 15.999 or time mass units. Now, as a physicist, I go crazy with this sort of thing, uh, but I'm not going to go on an epic rant about the importance of what an atomic mass unit is. Um, actually, I'm just going to suggest you don't worry about it for now. Now, if you are concerned about what an atomic mass unit is, good for you. Uh, I think we'd, we'd, we'd have a good conversation down the pub, I think. Um, go and Google it, right? The important thing is I now need to use these values to work out the molar mass. And uh, there's a bit of a distinction between what we call atomic mass um, and molecular mass and molar masses, OK? Now, a, a molecular mass, right? would just be the sum of these according to how many of the atoms they were in the molecule. So I'd do uh, six of those, 12 of those, and six of those, and I'd add them all up, bop, 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 and i get an answer. I would still express that in units of atomic mass, unified atomic mass, right? And we just call that the molecular mass, OK? We also have this thing called the molar mass. Now, as it turns out, the molar mass and the molecular mass are exactly the same in terms of the value you calculate. But the molar mass we express with a different unit. And units of molar mass are always, um, get, get this right, grams per mole. OK. Now, I want to make that distinction, right? So whenever I refer to any quantity with these units in a question in future, you should be thinking molar mass, OK? Right, so let's calculate the molar mass for glucose. So I, 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 this is a bit naughty. I, this is this is a, again a bit of physics in me. Um, I'm referring to the relative mass here, but I'm, I don't know why I've used this. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm going to carry on. Um, I've got a six um, times twelve point zero one. I'm I'm going to be naughty here, and I'm just going to use three significant figures in these questions. Actually, that's four, isn't it? Yeah, we'll keep going. Plus 12 uh, times 1.01 uh, plus 6 times 16.0. Okay. And that's going to give me 
180 grams per mole to three sig fig. Now I'm I'm kind of happy with that. I've been a bit naughty because I should really put all the numbers I got it and calculated it to the the highest significant I can based on those values. But I'm going to do a calculation now using a value with only two sig figs. So I all I did is I made sure that the value I calculated I could do so with more significance than the, than the next value I was going to use. Okay. Um, so now to calculate the number of moles in five grams, 5.0 grams of glucose. Okay. <clears throat> Remember the units here, I've got grams per mole. To get rid of the grams, I'm going to need to divide by 180 grams per mole. Okay, so in this case, the grams cancel and the mole goes to the top. Okay, that gives you an answer of 0.028 mole. So there are 0 0.028 moles of glucose in 5 grams of glucose. Okay, to two significant figures. Let's crack on. Where's my mouse?